My name is Melissa Williams and I will be your guest host. We're going to have a great show for you, very informative, exciting, and fun. We're going to have dancers, singers, celebrities, yes, yeah, celebrities, rappers, producers, artists, entrepreneurs, and much, much more. So just sit back and enjoy the show. Tommy, I want to change gears here. Um, we've spoken about your sister. Now I want to know about Tommy. Um, who are you? What are you about? What is downtime for you? Um, do you are you involved in any community organizations? Well, downtime for me is um, anything that deals with outdoors. Uh, you know, I wish we lived close to a ski ski slopes, um, or I'd be out and I'd be out on some skis. Um, I what do, do still. Do for fun now? I still ride my bicycle a whole lot. I'm a cyclist. I'm in uh -huh. Times Square and Central Park and. Northern New Jersey, up in the mountains, all over. I have a racing bike and I have a hybrid that I that I ride. Um, you know, occasionally I do follow the polar bears. So I mean, uh, I'm, I've been a member for about 15 years. Generally, I, I uh, go out of uh, wow. the ocean in Coney Island. Wait a minute. So you go out in the frigid water in the winter time? Yeah. And how uh, do they have anything on? Because I, I haven't seen no. Well, last year it was sponsored by Vaseline. Um, intensive care, so therefore they had some tents, and they had uh, heaters in the tents, and they, and they would, you know, you could put Vaseline on, which is kind of, you know, keeps you a little thermal, you know, insulate a little bit, um, but, you know, for me... So basically, it, what do you do? You just run in the water? You just, and then you a, lot, a lot of people just run in and run out. Me, I take my board, and I go up there and get busy. You know, I might wear, I, I have a, um, a long suit, so I'll wear my wetsuit and go in, um, but, you know, it's, once you, uh, it's so invigorating, it's so... so Exciting! You have so many people, and people are dancing. They have the goulash. They have. A, they have. But anyway, yeah, yeah, it's nice. getting on, getting back to you. What I wanted to know is, since your sister, you know, since she's became famous, have you had to become, let's say, reclusive? Um, to, when you go out, is it a problem in public? Um, you know, how do you feel? Yeah. No. Um. Actually, you know, I feel like uh, I have the best of all worlds because. Um, like for instance, Wendy, she can't really, she can't really go out. We used to have issues growing up, you know, because you know we were still young and and, want, and wanted to pal around and do stuff. Right. And, you know, she and she didn't have a whole lot of friends, and neither did I. And so you know, when, when it came time to I'm gonna go off to the mall or something like that, you know, she she would say, "Geez, I can't just go to the mall. You don't understand. It's it's different for me now." Right. And I would always say, "Oh, shut up and come on, let's go." You know, and I never understood. Now understand. But now I understand, you know, because it's, it's, it is totally different. She's but, very nice to the crowd. She's very nice to the public. But, I mean, there comes a point where, when, when they become kind of intrusive. And, you know, and so she doesn't want to put herself in that situation. I understand that. But for me, I can get a chance to travel all around and do whatever I want. Some, a lot of times there's recognition with this media takeout stuff that's, um, that's taking place now. Okay. You know, it kind of it kind of expose yourself if you buy into the whole media takeout stuff. You're exposing yourself. People are, that don't normally recognize you or wouldn't normally recognize you, you're putting yourself out there and you're saying, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. Something that I wasn't um, so much into. Um, but now with the wave of technology and things, I got my iPhone and with that I want to take advantage of all the apps. Okay. So, so I got down with Instagram and Twitter on, and stuff and, like and that. And your sister, is is she on Twitter? Yeah, she's actually... Because at one time she wasn't really doing the tweeting. Right. Right, she wasn't so much either. You know, she had said when, the, when it all got started and some, and the whole, you know, well, get somebody, to get Twitter and you can have yeah, people following. She said, you know, well, geez, I probably have somebody to, you know, go on there and do my tweets. But, you know, she realized the authenticity of it all. Right. Um, it lies in, you know, the individual yeah. and to, to, to go ahead and say what you're doing. So, you know. Rather than have somebody else yeah. say this for you. Because right. It's really not. You know, you don't even. You can. She can now keep in touch and know what her fans are thinking. Yeah, what they're saying. Absolutely, and she she enjoys it as well. She enjoys it as well. She likes getting the feedback and things. I think that 
you know, her show, her, the main reason why her show is so, so successful is because she keeps an ear out for her public, for right. her constituents. And she wants to make sure that she's, you know, listening to them and finding out, you know, what they want to know. Now, like I said, I wanted to know more about you yourself. And because I know, you know, sometimes when you you have a family member, let's say the Eddie Murphy, Charlie Murphy, you yeah. know, it's a situation where your life is completely affected. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that you, you're, you're a school teacher. Yes. You're a school teacher. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever have problems with the students were constantly asking you about your sister? Or did they know? Did you talk yeah, about it? Yeah, you know what, I'm very, I'm very humble. You know, um, you know, teaching in Newark, you know, I'm not trying to be in the trunk of anybody's car. So, you know, therefore, I don't try so to live... you live a very regular yeah, life? I lead a very regular life. You know, if, if I was to be that celebrity's brother, you know, I don't think... It, not only would it not be safe for me, but it also would be... Um, it wouldn't be my life anymore. Right. It would be the life of everybody else's. And, you know, one thing that I cherish is the, the days that I have on the planet. So... You know, what I decided to go ahead and do is I decided to go ahead and buy into the media takeout thing and have people, you know, know who I am because now I'm at a so certain... So you're finally not, you're finally ready to come out yeah. of your, so to, so to speak, shell. That yeah, you I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, right? I'm a man of a certain age. Now yeah. I'm 45. And uh, so... Uh, and he's you know, not afraid to say Yeah, I'm 45. Because you, you're healthy and yeah. you look good, so you, you feel good, right? Oh, thanks. So yep. there's no yep. reason why you should hide your age. Yeah. So I just feel as though, you know, I'm very comfortable with myself. I really don't move in all those circles that I used to when I was a kid. So my 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 walk is a lot safer than it used to be. Okay. So why not be proud and, and, and you know and, and you know support my sister wholeheartedly and, and you know, yeah, it won't be awkward to see me wearing a, a, a how you doing shirt up. Okay, up so since we're going thing. down this road and you're you know, um, you're not afraid to, to, to change the course of your life, let me ask you, have you ever thought about um, being in the entertainment business, maybe a promoter or guest speaker. Yeah, well, you know what? Um, the, you know, my hidden hidden desire, really, and some years ago I thought about it and, and you know, thought about how to wrap myself around that whole dream mm -hmm. was, um, remember the Wonderama show with Bob McAllister? Kids are people, too. No, I don't remember. There was a you show, back, answer, in the yeah, there was anyway. a show back in the day. You might be a little too young. Um, but there was a show back in the day, and Wendy and I were actually on it. Mm -hmm. It was hosted by um, a talk show host, I mean, a, I'm sorry, a game show host called Bob McAllister. Okay. And Bob McAllister used to have kids come on the show, and they used to run back and forth and do different obstacles, okay. pop balloons, and have to run back and put stuff somewhere. You know, they had a big counter, and everybody was there, and you had to open up this, this, this stuff, and... Or, or a, um, a little can, and if the snake pops out, you're a loser. Uh, if you pull out a big rose, shows, you're a winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, I mean, okay. like Zoom, right. Yes. Zoom, electric company. Yes, okay. That's me. Okay. You know, motivating the kids, talking about health, talking about eating right. You know, I do smoothies, I do um, juicing, and, um, and you know, I try, to just, I try to just stay positive. I used yeah. to be heavier, mm -hmm. you know, so then when I came on down and weight, I, you know, because of my sport, because I like to be in, in the water and all that stuff and athletic, I, um, I, um, I like to um, be an advocate for that. You know, and with Obama in the office and everything like that, there's a big yeah. health push. And I think this is great. It's so, a great place for me to fit in. So you're saying, so what you're saying is that you are now joining the social network, yes. Twitter, and that you don't mind if people follow you. No. So we will be able to get uh, find out some contact yes. information. I would, I, would, I would like to encourage people to follow me because what I'm trying to do now, Melissa, is um, I, I'm trying to beef up my, um, my followers so that at some given point I can determine what I want to do to, to provide a service for those people. Right. Or people maybe in that camp of followers. You know, so for instance, I like making smoothies. If I want to do a smoothie business, I'm just right now. Right now, I'm just trying to find out my passions, try to find out, okay. and that's pretty much. But meanwhile, what I have to but do. meanwhile, and meanwhile, you don't mind. I don't um, mind people promoting, who, helping to promote, mind. and speaking engagements. Absolutely, correct? I don't. I wouldn't mind promoting, uh, just in general, like you know, promoting a parties or promoting um, some clubs, some, some or, clubs whatever. or whatever have you. You know, um, I, I definitely wouldn't mind doing that. Okay. So, and speaking engagements, you know, I think that, you know, I, I do some things actually um, back around um, in, in North Jersey, you know, at a lot of different schools and things. And so if, maybe you wouldn't mind filling in and being a, a host at the BBB 
BBPN show. I would right? love filling time. in and being a host of the BBPN show. Thank you. Um, and also, I would love to, you know, come back down to the shore and perhaps speak at some of the local schools, elementary schools and high schools and things like that. Great and idea. because I'm an educator, you know, there's a couple of different platforms that I can work off of, okay. you know, for career days and, th and things of that nature. I used to have Wendy come to my schools all the time. And, you know, then it came a point when Wendy was, her schedule was kind of busy, and I would just speak, okay. you know, talking about, you know, the different, you know, challenges and whatnot. That and face, Sure. And, so. and naturally being, you know, her brother and of the same, right around the same age, when she was going for her, when she was venturing into her career, I knew all the doors that were shut and some of the doors that would open at the time. So Does she know that you're uh, interviewing today for on the show? No, she doesn't. Oh boy. How do you think she'll feel? She'll feel fine. I mean, she knows that I'm a speaker. And, uh, you know, I'm a ham when it all comes down to it. You know, I like I like to, to talk and do my little thing, too. And, and I just want to make sure that everyone knows, yes, I'm Melissa Williams, and this is Tommy Williams, but we are of no relation. Um, just need to say that. But anyway, so back to, um, so she knows that, she doesn't know that you're on the show, but... Um, as far as your dreams in life, um, has media ever been on your mind? Yes. Media has been on my mind. Like I said, I would love to be a... Um, what about radio? Would you ever do that at any Yeah, past? you know, I would. Are I you into sports? Um, boxing. I'm a fanatic of boxing. And I actually, um, I talked about, you know, geez, it'd be great to do, you know, just an announcing or, or bring the guys in. You know, in this corner we have, you know, okay. but... Uh, you know, that's that's my passion with sports. Um, Have you ever much. met anybody in the boxing, um, in, the, in that arena? Sure, yeah, yeah. You know, having um, been around Wendy a, a lot of time with her music, I'm sorry, with the uh, radio career. Um, in fact, when I um, was in college, I did my internship at Hot 103.5, which was Hot 97 mm -hmm. before okay. it was 103.5 with Al Bandero and then Wendy was one of the disc jockeys there and stuff like that. But I was in their marketing department, and um, I got a chance to meet a whole lot of people. Um, Winky Wright, Muhammad Ali. Um. I mean, I can see that if that was something that you wanted to do, yeah. I can see you transitioning into that because you're an eloquent speaker. Um, you come right off the top, you can think. And this is something, I mean, this seems like this has been in your in your family, everyone in yeah. your family is just very good at speaking. Yeah, everybody in the family. It just comes naturally. It's like, I guess everybody in family has something to say. I don't know if they're all great <laughs> speakers, but we all have something to say. And, you know, therein lies the whole, you, you always know, have something to say. Yeah, I always have something to say. You always have an answer. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, with your parents, did you ever have problems where you always, you know, always had to come back? Did you well, know when to stop? No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know when to stop, but my father would always, you know, he would know how to make me stop. Um, and, uh, but, you know, Wendy was the real outspoken and, and kind of rude one. Myself, I was always the calculating and the thoughtful one. I always wanted to make sure that the feelings weren't hurt and the wife's toes were being mashed up on. Um, but Wendy, not so much. Do you find yourself um, being the protector even still now? Even yes. Though? All the time. As a matter of fact, I had gone by Wendy's house a couple of days ago, or last week when I went by to have her to see my, um, see my car. Um, uh, she was rude. And I'll be honest, I wasn't happy. So I texted her. And I said, well, what's going on with you? You know, what was you it? Didn't you call. Know, yeah, I text that. You know, because it, it just, I, I, it was I, easier? Yeah, and I know how, that when Wendy and I get on the phone, it doesn't work out, you know, because, you know, I, it, I might be a little too aggressive, and then be you know, honest. Who's usually the winner? Do you ever back down? I back down all the time because she does. You know, she does the fake crying and stuff, or the, the whole tearing thing on television. She does that all the time, and she's very emotional, and she's very heartfelt. So I mean, you know, when I'm really hurting her with words or whatever have you, they're really cutting her. And a lot of times that I look at her strength and things, and she just seems so strong yeah. that I pull out everything I have when I go at her, mm -hmm. and you know, then I realize that geez, like. Really I mean, you're younger. You're the youngest. You're yes. the youngest. Okay. But you're the meanest, though. I'm just the one who's very, I, I think, I, I counted. So, you know what? I mean, Wendy hurts my feelings all the time. 
So that's just you guys being. And you know what? And, and you know and you have a real relationship just like anybody else. Absolutely. Have a real relationship oh, yeah, yeah. With your brother and sister. Oh, we're back and I mean, forth all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's times I haven't spoken to my brother for months because we had a fight and I won't talk to him. Yeah. And it's a fight to the death. You yeah. Know? Just like when we were teenagers. So yeah. you guys still have that same. And did your mom ever, you know, try yeah. to catch things well, up you know and what? say, you guys knock it off? No, well, you know, um, they never actually got in, the, and they never got in the way of our arguments and stuff like that because they were never vocal. They were always just like um, you could feel the tension in a room because we're both bubbly people, okay. and okay. especially myself. You know, you know, Wendy. She, but you're very overt. I mean, you guys are. You don't. I, I don't think you have ever held back, huh? Yeah, no, I never held back, and nor has Wendy. So that's why you know when there's two of us, when we're in the room, it's just you know. You know, we'll, we'll, it'll just swell up with the tension, the room. And, you know, my parents, you know, they just, they just, they knew that we'd equalize it at some point because they know that we both don't have friends. Right. So that we yeah, both, each other. so that, you know, <laughs> those two big dummies, they're going to need each other they at some point, so they'll work it out, watch, you know. And, and you and I have managed to, and most people don't know, we've been friends for, since what, 20 years? Maybe it's because we yeah. don't see each other. Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk that often. It's mostly texting. But thank God for the, for the, the social network. Um, how can, you know, what I wanted to know is, how can people get a hold of you in order if they want to hire you for, for promotionals or if they want to hire you, hire you for speaking engagements? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Facebook? Are yeah. you on Instagram? Well, yes. Can my, you give out that information? Absolutely, Melissa. Um, my Instagram information is uh, Tommy's 100. You can find me at Tommy's 100 for Instagram. Okay. And okay. for... Um, Twitter, you can find me at um, Tommy Williams US. Okay, so again, Twitter information. I'm sorry, I'm oh, I'm brand new to this. Well, not so. He's just new, learning. And what about Facebook? Are you on Facebook and then, as Tommy? Williams? And then Facebook, I'm Tommy Williams uh, USA. But what you're gonna, you are planning on learning how to use it, as is a lot of people right now. Um, this is all new for many people. I think the kids, the high school kids, and what have you. Just trying to, you know, get just, just trying, trying to learn. To, yeah, yeah, we're just trying but to And also along. with these new phones, the iPhones and the smartphones, you don't have a choice. But it's easier, so you can just kind of upload pictures sure. or what have you. Yeah. But you're going to start being more public now. Yeah. And you want people to follow you on Twitter. Absolutely. I am. Um, Instagram. You know, I, I really want the, the people to follow, you know, and, and I realize you also have to maintain and keep things updated. So, you know, okay. I'm learning that as I go along. You know, I still have summertime pictures, and I think the last picture I took maybe was a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But um, I have to really try to, you know, stay, um, stay up on top of bad Be consistent. Sure. Because this is something that myself on Facebook, a lot of us, we're on there every day tweeting, and this is something you do when you, first, when you wake up in the morning. It's probably like after you brush your teeth. The next thing you do is you tweet, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you take a picture of so, yourself. So everything is still so fresh, and I'm just trying to make sure... Um, I had said, you know, it's Tommy's 100 is the Instagram, okay. and um, the Twitter is uh, Tommy Williams US, okay? okay? And Tommy Williams USA is my Facebook. Okay, so people can um, now contact you in order for speaking engagements at the high schools or what have you, mm -hmm. um, college or whatever, and also you'll do club promotions. Absolutely. Right? I'd love to come back down to shore and, and work on some events and some different projects. Anybody have anything interesting going on, let me know. And speaking of that, are you involved in any community organizations? Do you help out um, any organizations? Well, I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity, and um, we do a lot of um, outreach programs with the, um, with the communities, local community. Specifically? Um, anything specific? Yes, we do a... Uh, do they these, have scholarship yes, programs? Yes, we do them? scholarship programs. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, you know, definitely now, you know, that the spring is coming, we do a lot of scholarships. Um, we also do a feed and eating pro needy program, and as well, I work out at the local YMCA, and um, and I and I do a lot there with the community because it's also a residence uh, YMCA. So you know, there's a lot of people that are in, are in need there. So when it comes down to when you like, say that, you mean shelter or yeah, it's, 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 are it's, they living there? They're living there. Okay. Yeah. 
And you, you do a lot of, you do like, you, you go out and you speak and you, you talk to people mm -hmm. and what have you, find out what's yeah. going on with that. Boys and girls clubs, sometimes I go by there and help. Okay. And then when they do their clothes drives, they did the Toys for Tots um, over the holidays. And I was involved with that as well. Very nice. Um, so I try to stay, you know, pretty grounded and, and, and give back. Very good. Thank so Tommy, I would love to thank you for coming on the show, taking out the time from your busy schedule. Well, thank you so much for having me on the BPPN show. Greatly appreciate it. It was definitely worth the ride down and look forward to coming back down. Hopefully you'll have me again. And you're supposed to come down and be a host for the show one day, right? I'd Remember? love to. Don't that forget. sounds great. Maybe we can interview Wendy sometime. All right then. Thank you. All right.